you truly know we are in the last days when you have women complaining about a man being reliable, being consistent, and being dependable. To them, that's boring. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, we're starting to see more and more women try to normalize and standardize their delusional way of thinking. First and foremost, man, I'm not talking about all women. I'm talking about a particular group of women that has uh, made this bold statement and the math don't math. You know, you'll hear these women say, we want a good man. All of the good men aren't interested in us. How come these good men aren't hitting on us and entertaining us? And what you'll have is, man, these women will say, you know, he was just too nice. He was too much of a gentleman, you know, he was a great guy, he was dependable, he was reliable, he was consistent, and you know, it, 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 that wasn't what I wanted. You know, when a woman talks like that and tries to make the guy that was actually a good guy sound like something was wrong with him or he was problematic, what you're experiencing is the opposite. You're dealing with a woman that is probably defiled herself, probably used to operating in a toxic environment, probably used to being toxic and making an environment toxic. So she's not able to live in a peaceful environment, a healthy environment, because she's basically letting you know that she needs a certain level of chaos. She wants this man to exhibit some no good traits. Don't tell me you're coming home at nine and then come home 10 minutes early. To a uh, delusional woman, that kind of man is boring. You know, if you telling me you're gonna uh, pick me up from the airport, you know, picking me up on time is boring to them. They'd rather you be late and them not hear from you the next day. That's the kind of dysfunction that they rather operate in. These women, they're not saying they want that kind of dysfunction every day, but they will let you know through their articulation of what they believe to be normal, we need some kind of dysfunction, we need some kind of chaos. And I'll tell you, you know, men, don't let that deter you from courting or, you know, just add that to your toolbox so when you hear a woman you know if you're courting a woman and you're testing the spirit in her and you're, you're discerning this and she speaks about the guy the qualities that he had speaks to his character and you're like man that, that, that those are good qualities you know and if she left that relationship chances are if you exhibit reliability being dependable being consistent uh, keeping your word Man, th those character traits that are great character traits are not gonna be good enough for her. And you are courting her at your own expense. You know, if you plant a child in her, you uh, marry this woman. Hey, let me tell you something. You're doing that at your own expense. You know, this is why you have to ask these women about the character of men that they've entertained. Saying a man is no good and he's this and that. And then when you say, when you speak on behalf of his character and it shows that the guy actually had good character, she's letting you know, man, she wants some dysfunction. She needs a certain level of dysfunction to be happy. You have some women, man, fall deep in love with dysfunction. This man could go out and entertain all these women, bring them STDs home and all he got to do is bring them some flowers, tell them they're beautiful and say he's sorry 
and they're like, oh, this is a deep, passionate love. That love is rooted in dysfunction. And that's not the kind of love that the Most High Yah describes, you know, with love being patient, love being kind. Some of these modern women don't want you to be patient. They don't want you to have people. They want you to be the dysfunction they like. Oftentimes, this stuff can be traced back to childhood. But we, we, we know we're in the last days when there's a lot of men choosing to live alternative lifestyles and they're promoting that stuff like a wildfire. Women support it. Oh, this is, my, this is my gay best friend. And then when you get a man that has those good qualities that you actually could build some with, here's where the delusion comes. You say, oh man, he was too boring. It's not that these men won't take you out and experience things. No, they want some dysfunction. They want to be fighting. They want arguments. They want to catch you uh, messing with another woman secretly. You know, they want to wake you up in the middle of the night and start some foolishness. You got to pay attention to this, man, because it's out there. We're seeing more and more women uh, speak to a man that's dependable, a man that's reliable, a man that's a man that's consistent being boring to them. On the other side of that, what are they truly saying? They want an inconsistent man, an unreliable man, and a man that they can't depend on. That is entertaining to them. Strong delusion. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.